My name is David Connolly and I just want to give you a quick overview of some of the key features that we have on the Energy Plan website so that you know where to go if you want to find some specific information that you're looking for. The first thing I'll say is that when you go to the energyplan.eu website, I'd advise you to sign up uh, to our website because some of the pages are only accessible after you sign up. It's free of charge to do so and it just means that you're registered as a user of the Energy Plan tool and you'll receive our newsletter which usually goes out at least once or twice a year. After you've signed up, you can then go to the download page and get the Energy Plan tool for free of charge. You usually see the latest release is provided at the top, while a number of older versions are also provided in case you're looking for one uh, from the past. Once you have the model then, uh, you can always go to the Get Started page. This is a quick overview of some of the key features um, in the Energy Plan tool, along with some quick links to typical pages that people want to access once they've started using the model for the very first time time. However, if you've uh, read that page, some of the other key features that might be useful then is the training uh, pages. Under the training page, you'll get some quick introduction or overview to the theory and the thinking behind the energy plan model, as well as some quick frequently asked questions about how the energy plan model works and some of the assumptions behind the, the, the tool. Then if you want to actually start using it, there's two types of exercises which you can download and actually carry out yourself. And the really nice feature in these training exercises is that it doesn't just give you a problem to solve, it also gives you a step-by-step -step overview of the solution. So for example, under this training exercise, you can download the description of the problem along with the solution to see if you've managed to solve it correctly. There's also the energy plan energy land exercises which are also available free of charge and if you want to then get a bit more understanding as well as using the tool in the exercises if you want to understand the calculations behind the model you can access the documentation under the training um, menu and in the documentation you get a full overview of the uh, calculations that actually take place within the energy plan model so this is quite a long document with a lot of the formulas um, a lot of the assumptions a lot of the theory um, that actually go into the coding of the energy plan tool so if i scroll down very quickly you'll see there's a lot of variables described along with a lot of uh, mathematical uh, calculations um, towards the center of the document so please check this out if you actually want to get some of the more kind of scientific um, or mathematical functions that actually go on behind the software. Going back then to the website itself, as well as the documentation, there's also the FIED guide. The FIED guide is a bit more practical in the sense that it's about trying to find suitable data and input it into the energy plan tool. The FIED guide shows you what type of data is typically needed and where it's typically put inside in the energy plan software. So if you're about to build your own model, the FIED guide can be a very useful assistant. However, I'll show you a bit later that there's actually a lot of models that are already exist, so it's always worth checking out if the if the model you want actually exists already before starting out to construct your own. Finally, then under the training part, there's also some workshops and videos. We usually hold at least one workshop in Energy Plan each year. This typically takes place in the spring. You can see from the website here, the last one took place in April of 2016. However, there will be another one in the spring of 2017. So please keep an eye on this site if you want to actually join that uh, workshop. And then the training videos are some previous workshops where we've actually recorded some of the presentations where you can actually follow uh, during a, t a class or during a workshop how we've constructed a model of a specific scenario within the tool. For example, there's a video about modeling wind power and electricity storage here, and there's also a video about modeling heat pumps in the district heating systems. Uh, we'll try to build this up in the future, so you can always check this out if you want some access to different training videos. So you can see there's a lot of training material, introduction, frequently asked questions, some exercises you can carry out, documentation and the FIDE guide describing how it works and where you can get suitable data, as well as workshops and videos where you can follow along some previous examples. There's also the forum then, if the if you haven't found the answer to a question you're looking for under the training material, you can always post a question in the forum. We always like people to post questions in the forum rather than contacting us directly so that other people can benefit from the answers that we give when we have particular queries. So please submit a question if you 
you have one on the forum page. For next then we have the Smart Energy Systems tab. The reason the Smart Energy Systems tab is provided here is because this gives the framework for which the energy plan software was developed around. The Smart Energy Systems concept talks about how we can transition from a fossil fuel to a 100% renewable energy system and a lot of the theory or thinking behind the energy plan tool is provided here on this website. So you can go and watch a, a short video about it, a very nice um, interact, a very high production video about the smart energy systems concept and you can also download a lot of literature um, like a, a book and some journal articles describing the smart energy system concept in more details. Then we have a few practical resources that are also very useful. Uh, the resources by country feature, if you click on that, you can actually access a lot of information that we've provided for different countries. For example, if I click on Romania here, you'll see a pop-up on the top right that is actually some models that we've previously developed for Romania, which you can download uh, from this box. And that's what I mentioned earlier, that rather than start a model from scratch yourself, just check out this page and see have we actually developed a model for your country or region in the past before. Here you have Latvia, then there's also some material for Norway, some material for the UK and various other countries which are highlighted here in red. This is just a new feature we launched recently so we plan to build it up a bit more in the coming months so please check this out uh, again at a later stage um, if you're looking at this video because it may well have a lot more information than I'm just showing you here in this video. Going back to the website then, under the useful resources we also have a list of existing models uh, which I just showed you on the map. So uh, these are, it's not as easy to see the overview but there is a list of different models on this page. Another nice feature that's on this page is that each model has a contact name. For example, if I want to learn more about the Italian energy model that's provided here, you get the contact details for the person who provided that tool uh, here on the website. There's also an overview of a, a, a also under the useful resources we have our cost database. This is a really nice um, collection of cost data that we typically need when we do energy uh, system analysis calculations. You'll get the files you need for the energy plan model so when you download this zip file you'll be able to actually populate all of the costs you need in, a, in the energy plan model if you want to create one of your own tools. However you'll also get a report that documents each of these costs um, in a quick overview. So so for example, this is the energy plan cost database um, uh, report from January 2015. And as you can see, it documents all of the costs and their sources uh, that we use in the energy plan tool. So you can see what the cost is for, let's say, wind turbines, for PV panels, solar thermal plants, different biofuel plants, um, different fuels, different maintenance costs, and so on. So if you're looking for some cost data, that, that cost database can be a very useful starting point. Also, there's some case studies under the useful resources section. If you want to go into the case studies part, you can then refine your search by either searching for a particular topic or by clicking one of our predefined labels. For example, if I'm looking for an electricity storage report, by clicking on the electricity storage label, I get a list of all the studies that Energy Plan has been used in uh, on the topic of electricity storage. Similarly, I can click the 100% renewable energy and uh, I get an overview of different uh, studies that involve 100% renewable energy systems for energy plan. Um, then another nice uh, add-on in the useful resources are other tools. Of course, Energy Plan is very useful for national energy modeling with long-term changes and so on. And there is some other models that are very similar to Energy Plan out there. But there's also a lot of models that are better at answering other questions than the ones that we answer in the Energy Plan software. And by going through this list, you can see an overview of various different models that we have found. There's also a journal article that uh, lists, describes and compares each of these models with one another and by clicking on one of the models you get a more detailed uh, explanation of what the modeling what actually the model is and what's included in it uh, along with some extra uh, pieces of information um, so going back then just the final uh, a useful resource we have is some scientific literature that Energy Plan has been used in. This is just a quick overview and it's definitely not a complete list because this is changing so much all the time, but it'll just give you a quick insight into some 
uh, scientific literature that we've used for energy plan in the in the past. Um, as I said, there's also the smart energy systems literature, which uh, you can also find under the smart energy systems tab sheet. The last thing I'll show you then is the members map. Quite often when people start using the energy plan tool, they want to get in contact with other people um, who are trying to build a similar model to them. And since a lot of our work is done at a national level, we've provided a map here where you can click on a country and see uh, what, what actual, uh, who, who else in your country is using the energy plan tool so you can get in contact with one another. For example, if I click on, let's say, the Netherlands here, I get a list on the right hand side of all the people from the Netherlands who have signed up to use the energy plan tool. And by clicking on their name, I get their contact information. So then you can get in touch with them to see how far they've got with developing the models that they're creating and if they'd be interested in collaborating. So thank you very much for listening. That's a quick overview about the different um, information we have uh, available on our energyplan.eu website. You can always connect with us on LinkedIn or follow our YouTube, subscribe to our YouTube channel um, if you want to keep up to date with us. And as I said, once you sign in, you'll also get our newsletter, which we typically release uh, every uh, maybe once or twice a year. Thanks for listening.